season finale. It's the season finale, mother. Let's see what's on for tonight. That's right, some of my bitches. Are you ready? Let's do it. Play. Damn it. The following presentation is from the TV MA. Viewer discretion advised. TV MA. On Bates Motel. Gets that psycho look at his face so well. That trance type euphoric look. Oh my god. Is it me or does this dude always look like he's wearing eyeliner? I assume it's his darkness of his hair and his eyelashes. The black lady with the cleavage. He was in the dark night, right? What was it like wearing eyeliner? He was the shit in the 80s. With prints and all that, he was probably the shit. Check on the psycho before I leave. You got one of them old player vans. John, you pick a girl up and you don't need no damn motel at all for the night. Everything will be done. You can live out that bitch. See when you got a campfire and anything. My uncle had a conversion van in the back seat. You know, slid down, made a bed. Shit. Them vans were popular now. I'm like, damn, man. Kidding Magnus sites. It's, you don't want to sleep with a girl on the first night, okay? What you want to do? You want to wine and dine her? Treat, treat her like a lady, okay? Are they going to kiss finally? She got my laptop? She got the same laptop? I just got a call from Portland Old Saints Hospital. It looks like they might have found a set of lungs. 
They're just confirming the family are willing to donate them, but in all likelihood they are. We'll know for sure in the next yeah, few hours. Emma, this is it. For oh, did I get to the top of the list so fast? Yeah, my guess is you're yeah, the best match for these loans. Come on, you need to get ready in case this happens. Hey. Come on, girl, you're gonna live. Don't worry, okay? It's gonna be fine. This is exciting. I'm scared. It's a big operation. Take somebody's lungs out and put somebody else's back in. What is crazy Captain Crunch ass doing? He got fruity walk too, don't he? <laughs> You know what's funny? Her name reminds me. My barber told me one time that he wanted to uh, mess with a real white girl, right? <laughs> he said, nah, I ain't talking about the regular, the, I ain't talking about the down ass white girls that hang with black people. No, I want to mess with one of the real white girls, like with a man's name like Taylor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I was dying when he said that. <laughs> hey, look, Bradley. <laughs> Bradley don't seem like she got no black friends, like she hang with black folk, you know. So I guess by my barber standards, that's a real white girl. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? Hi. Yes, um, I was wondering if I could get some information about your facility. Yes, of course, not a problem. Just wait one minute, honey. The patient you're inquiring for, uh, what is his or her diagnosis? Well, uh, he, um, well, it's it's a bit unclear. You know, one of the things I am interested in is getting a full diagnosis. Mm -hmm. You know, mental problems are complicated. Of course, you know that. Yes, always. Who's the referee doctor? Um, no. I just read about your place, and I drove out here myself. And the patient is your... It's my son. Mm. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. I'm just thinking about it. I haven't made any decisions yet. You know, it's actually very hard to uh, to actually consider doing this. Um, but how often can you visit? We have very liberal visitation policies. As you can see, a lot of our guests have plenty of access to their families. Good. Yeah, he and I are both the patient. We're very close. Like I said, in almost all cases, it isn't a problem. Good. And, um... What does this place cost? We deal directly with your insurance company. We have case officers who will handle all of that for you. Oh, but with insurance, of course, but um, just like out of curiosity, like, she got down what does this place cost a day? That depends greatly on the specific condition being treated. Oh, yeah, but I mean, like, ballpark. There is no one number. No range of cost? I mean, I, you were dressed very nicely to sell me on this place, but you, you're, like, you're not going to tell me how much it cost me? Our minimum charge is $529 a night. That's room and board. Treatment costs are all on top of that. Mm. For doctors, Woo! tests, and therapies. For most patients, it ranges from about twenty to forty thousand dollars a month. The key, like I said, is your insurance. Most carriers can negotiate significant discount off of those numbers. She ain't had really shit no more. Question, we would have to have a doctor. She's like, he just gonna have to stay crazy as cat shit, because I can't afford that. I don't think my mother trusts me. Keep watching great. No, she doesn't. I don't need it. Presented by Microsoft Service. Get past these commercials. 
He scared me. I can tell physically I could whoop his ass. But he scared me. You don't know what motherfucker like that would do. You know what I mean? Fucking uh embalm me and stuff me. Sitting there stuck in my normal Tyro Magnus laugh. Just stuck. <laughs> Taxidermized. Alright, come on, man. Burn that bitch down. That's right, get her. Just gonna forget your pop like that. She probably. Her mom probably a sociopath. Don't be no conscious, just money. Go crazy, Bradley! Ugh! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Ugh. Ferguson, nigga. Get it! In the moment with a kiss, here it is, where he betrays and stabs his crazy ass brother in the back. It's gonna happen right now. Yeah, that is true, but 
I don't want to spend the rest of my life being poked and prodded and analyzed and evaluated. Always living with the constant threat every day that my body will somehow turn on me and start to reject the lungs. No, at least this way, I can, I can just live in denial. It's not imminent. It's not like I'm up against this question every day. Will my body not screw me over today? You know, I just, I know I just want to have some control over my life. I'm a, I look, come on. No, no, I look ridiculous when I cry. You're the least ridiculous person that I've ever known. You're wiser than most people twice your age, and you're the bravest person that I know. There it come. There it come. You're a freaking warrior. You should keep looking at his mouth. Look, look. Ha! 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 Dylan, you're going to hell! Nora gonna fuck you up! They're getting it in too. They're getting the whole movie kiss. Mm-hmm. All better now? Get your cut open. Oh, we're talking about? I have no idea. Hey, you can uh you can always see me as me the guy who hit on you. Norma gonna beat that ass. Stab, stab, stab. You better watch out, Dylan. Stay alive for me. So we can be together. That's how I said it. I said it just like that. You need to get this transplant. Not just for you. But for me. So we can be together. Let's get through these commercials. Come on. Sidious. Sidious. Hey, yo. This Viagra commercial with this hot MILF in it. Have y'all seen this? I'm like, for, that's a test to see if you need it in the first place. If you don't need it, then, you know. You gonna know by the end of the commercial. You need it. You gonna know by the end of the commercial. <laughs> that was just an Asian one. Last time I saw, I saw a white one. I think I'm about thirty thousand dollars worth of jewelry I can sell. Fifteen thousand dollars. Good job, Bradley. Good job. I broke into my mom's house. That's where you are. All this stuff is about my dad's drug money, so I think it's fair game. Hmm. We should leave soon. I bought us some supplies for the road. Some clothes and toothpaste. Yeah, okay. Can you be ready to go tonight? Hmm? Sneak out after your mom's asleep. Leave mother? Norman, please. You said yourself you're afraid of your mom that you want to leave. You're legally an adult. You can do whatever you want. Please come with me. His eyes. But they're getting all wide for her. I just don't know how I can leave her. Is that Norma about to come out? You'll be with me. She's working on the wee wee hat. We can do this. We have money now. Run away together. Take me. She is pretty hot. You ain't go, well, not now, but before. You ain't go score nothing like that again, buddy. So you might as well go. No, not that way. He pulls a go with Brad. I'm leaving after dark. You know where to find me if you change your mind. Although, just tell you something about Bradley. She done sunk. You know, her life sucks. She fell in love with this crazy motherfucker. You know what I mean? Crazy, awkward. 
malnourished. Mama's boy, some little bitch. <laughs> Murdered and psychopath. I'm telling you, girls, you attract how you view yourself. When you just think your life sucks, you get a crazy motherfucker in your life. Sometimes y'all think it's men with y'all. Can I talk to you for a minute? Okay. Uh oh. Oh, no. Oh, okay, so this is going to be precursor and leaving. He's going to get mad about her wanting to put him in the hospital. See, I know when to talk. People ain't talking to me. I had a girlfriend that didn't know when to talk. She talked while people were talking on screen. See how I'm talking? I'm worried about you. I just, I, I know. know. I know what I'm doing. I mean, you know, the blackouts are getting worse. Yeah, but we have it under control. No, you don't. You know, I don't go to school anymore. I don't drive. It's, well, I'm really just mostly here. I know. But I think that you need help. Help that I cannot give you. Sort of help you, you know what I mean? Like James. No, 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 no,
change that. I would, but I can't. It's just, it, it's done. It's an emotion. You know, I wish it was different. It's my fault, anyway. I try to hide it, you know. But now it's coming out, and it's just too much to shove away. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so scared. If he's my son, and he's broken. And he's the dearest boy that ever lived, and... Okay. Yeah, I just can't bear it if Bob Pierce has this thing investigated. If they take him away, if they put him in prison just for defending me. You know, it will kill me. Okay. Mm. You know, in some way, I don't even care anymore. You know, maybe fate wins here. We're all doomed in the end, right? <laughs> Probably. Probably. It's a grim outlook on life. Don't listen to her back to science. <laughs> Ain't getting on the night, Romero.
about this place. This feel puff. It is. Do it. Do it. Crime does not pay, kids. Crime does not pay. Told you. Okay. Dealing drugs and all that shit. Cause you never know what's gonna happen to you. See that? Did you know y'all wanna be cool like Tony Montana? Uh, see what happened? Huh? Tony Montana and uh, uh, name? And, uh, New Jack City. Wesley Snipes. I don't have these names escaping. Tony Soprano, uh, Nino Brown, like all this organized crime shit is cool, it ain't, it gets a bullet to the folk from a dude named Romero, you know what I'm saying,
Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. No! <laughs> <laughs> to my lanky ass feet. <laughs> oh shit. She knocked him out. Oh, this is getting interesting. I'm wondering how he gets out there. Cause remember what we saw in the preview last week. Remember I said I would hog time and drive him over to that place? Look, she doing the same damn thing. I know how to think like a bitch. You see that? That's good. It's a good thing. Bradley kind of probably gonna spring him. Crazy bitch come out. I was gonna say, she probably ain't tied that shit good enough anyway. That's all the way she was tying. why he doesn't notice the differences between his mom and his mom. I mean like the fake mom psycho personality doesn't act the same as his real mom. See Bradley? Thank you. 
god. Oh. Well, we, I think we all knew she was going to get it anyway. Uh, she and the Trump just going to put it in the rip. Huh? See, girls? You're down on your luck. See? these nice, quirky, weird motherfuckers. I might end up in a trunk. He's a nice guy. between our hearts. Do you remember? Come here, honey. It's okay. It's okay. I will take care of all of us. Okay, no one will ever know. It'll be our secret. Fuck. Yes, you will. By the way, okay. All right. So, you know how like uh, the following presentation is rated TVMA. Okay. Um, now, you know how uh, with a lot of series that you watch, and you know the killer, you usually want him caught. I don't exactly want him caught. I don't know exactly what I want from this character, but I'm too intrigued by what else the fuck is gonna happen. 
how he's going to totally develop into the Norman Bates we all know. Like, it's not time for him to get shut down yet. So I will be back for the next season. I'll do every episode, reaction every episode. Um, and I'm not doing Dexter. I hate Dexter. I know he's a killer too, but something... I know this is weird, but Dexter's more morbid to me. Morbid bothers me more than weird. It's just something about it really... I, it, I don't like it, okay? I hate Dexter, so I'm not ever doing Dexter. Sorry. I don't know about Game of Thrones. I've never seen one episode of it. I've heard it's good, but extremely gory. Y'all know I'm not really into gore. Hey, I'll try an episode. I'll see if it's on Netflix or something. And uh, maybe I'll react to the first episode. If I like it, then hey, I'll continue to watch it and do it. You know what I mean? But as y'all know, I'm more dedicated to, uh, you know, the channel and doing a lot of different reaction videos and other videos for y'all. So I don't watch a lot of TV. So, you know, it's Flash right now, Nor <laughs> Bates Motel. I watch wrestling, although wrestling is getting very boring for me. So I don't watch it as much. I, I might DVR it and catch it later or whatever. So... Oh, and Dragon Ball Bridge right now. When Dragon Ball Super comes out, y'all will get a full reaction to every single episode. I can't wait till that comes out. We're going to be having a good-ass time then, Magnus Sites. <laughs> All right, so if you enjoyed my reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not, you're psycho. One million subscribers. Woo!